Well, I'm, uh, I'm just leaving Glen Road Gym now. I've got uh, what I came for. I always get mixed up when I come down here. I'm trying to think, find a way out. Oh, there we are. Come on, then. Uh, nice to see the, uh, the chaps. Sam Sheedy, I like Sam. Good mate. The it's funny actually because when I first met Den, it was Sam Sheedy, the night Sam Sheedy fought. He fought a guy 12 and 12 and 2. I forgot his name actually, but 12 and 12 and 2. You know what? You know when you don't know area, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So it's 49 months I've known we're knocking around with these chaps. So I've known Sam, Speedy Sam over four years and little Tommy. I come right way here. Is that back to M1 love? Down that way? Yeah, and left. And left, right. Alright, cheers love. Oh yeah. I don't usually come this way. But uh yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, it always gets me when I come to Sheffield. But old Sheedy there with uh, Babby on way. So, good luck to him. Tommy looks in good shape. So, found my credit card. Uh, I've got a new one now, so that's good. Uh, Yeah, so let's hope that it's a good show. Glyn's got three fighters on it. So I'm looking forward to it. To Tommy Frank and Josh Whale. Uh, their show. Both good fighters. Both of them. This way. I'd like to see Sam Sheedy make a comeback for a simple reason, he's 31, he's always in good shape. He'd only have to lose. 154, what is he now? 182, 13 stone? He'd have to lose 20, 28 pound, two stone. So if he loses two stone, he's back in mix, isn't he? So, and I think it's possible for Sheedy to take two stone off. We all nutrition experts in that gym there. I think it'd be brilliant. I think it'd be brilliant. So, Hello? Uh, I found credit card, it run at seating car. Uh, so, alright. Uh, well. I'm going to Glyn Whale, uh, Mick Wales gym. So I'm just leaving right. Glens now, alright, it's in a bit. Okay. Are you been swimming? They're in now. You're there now? Alright yeah. then, it's in a bit. Yeah. Alright, see ya, bye. So it's all good in it. So all good. See my kids tonight. Not wrong with that, is the father at year? So, fancy going out for a beer tonight actually, but there's more to life than boozing, isn't there? More to life than boozing. But I get all these videos out, get them all in order, get them on channel and just keep working towards uh, the goals that we've got with channel, me and Nicola. Teamwork. Teamwork. So, teamwork. So, peace out. Let's see if we can get some footage of it. Mick Wales Jim
and Josh. Get a bit of footage there tonight. It's all positive stuff, isn't it? We're not going around breaking law or anything, are we? So keep on trucking. Here we are, round eight.
Who's going to win, Warrington or Galahad? Galahad. Galahad, yeah? Go on, go on, same as for now, lads. Two lads, let's go. Galahad, yeah? Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Technical yeah? What? Ten. Well, you've been in with Galahad? Yeah. I just think, um, I think, uh, I think he's... He's got more in his locker. Yeah. I'll tell you what he is. Ga Galahad won't commit. Wait what? He won't commit. He won't commit? You know what I mean? If you go at Josh, he... Uh, he, he can't relax it, then he goes, at, he goes at you again. You know what I mean? With his yeah. fast combinations. It's a good fight, Paul. Good fight. Two, yeah. two good styles, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, good fight. Galahad never going to be friends, have we? Yeah, Galahad is fresh energy. He's, uh, he's, been, he's got my no miles on top, Galahad, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a little bit of paper. Yeah, yeah. Galahad, I mean, uh, I know he's, he's, he's done what he's done, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things saying he shouldn't be doing it, but to give me an opinion on fate. Yeah, I think yeah. he's, I think he's got a. I think he's got to scale to get anybody down there, but like, I just think he's standing there. Yeah. It's all wrong for worries. Yeah. Without with European tile and so far, then uh, a box Foster, um, top British, top British. Uh, that you know, I got all, all game plan wrong for that. Uh, he's turned out, I mean, he's just put a deep, uh, good performance in last, last week. Um, yeah, yeah, he dropped him in first round, then he stopped him in 12, so you know, that was a good performance. 
for him, right? Yeah, I mean, I've never been on my ass for ever, so it's a uh, it was a frustrating fight for me because I, 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 I didn't I didn't I didn't perform well to my son. I didn't, I didn't perform well. Yeah, I was flat. I, I got going too late, pal. I mean, he he, he rolled it on. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, when you when you box a young kid, 21. 22 year old, well, he's, young, he's a young kid, um, and, he, and he knows he's in front we need to round 8 and 9. They're now coming on, you know, they're not that, they're just running away, tying me up, running away, tying me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, really, I should have stepped on it a bit, bit sooner. But I think, uh, I think weight power is a big. You uh, might need that, Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm open to anything, for anything. I'll say absolutely anybody who doesn't. It makes sense to take all that's it. But um, I know I know I'm, I'm renowned for my toughness and stuff like that. But I've, I've, I mean I've never been bothered by any of them. I've been in with them all, and I all, all, all thing. I've never been tough, but I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee Wood, uh, Stuart Hall. What was that? Is that your 23rd or something, title fight or something? Yeah, yeah. 45, 22 title fight. Exactly, yeah. I still, you know, I still now, sounds crazy, but I still don't feel I've fulfilled my potential. Yeah. I, I still don't, I mean, uh, I still think there's a lot more to come from that, I mean. Is it 23rd fight against the champion or is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can, yeah, yeah, you look for my career. Yeah, it's right. Because I don't think I've, I've got credit for, for what I've done. Yeah, yeah. Know, but it was, you know, it's one of them parts. Yeah. I, I can't look anybody in the eye when I've done and say, look, I. I the song's I, not over yet. No, no, I, I'm thinking, pal. I, I, I think I've looked through, I'm not proving people wrong because, you know, I've been there just thinking about, I'm going to prove people that there's still a lot, lot more left. Because I think there's still. Still, my best performance is still to come. You know, and I, and I think if you look at part of my career since I've been 18 year old professional, I've been super bantam, bantam. You know, it's, an, it's a natural progression as you get older to, to go up in weight. Look at them all. I mean, look at Johnny Gonzalez, a world bantam weight title. He's fighting at super featherweight now. You know, you naturally go up. They're airy super bantam. They all, they all, they all, they all go up. I mean, I know that Mexicans are, are different, they like, uh, they, they go up and go for fun like that. Uh, I think you're an English kid. I don't know, but I think I, I was just holding my weight too long. I think I've, I've outgrown it like that. You can make it in how you're comfortable. Yeah. And it's always a lot for you. Yeah, definitely. It's always good. Good performance on the fifth. Yeah, good performance on the fifth. Yeah, good performance on the fifth. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, we'll go on. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, good one. I think uh, no, it's someone different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, he's uh, really much better off uh, not feel bad about that yeah. loss against him, can he? He's, yeah, he's an animal like, isn't he? Oh, God. He's got right near Manny Monster. The Monster, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, He'll beat Don Air, won't he? Yeah, yeah. I, I won't like to see you, uh, I, I won't like to see you, you know, with Don Air. He's been a racer, but you know what I mean? He's, uh, he's not going to be on the one. He's not going to be on the one. small but. version of Bucky, yeah, won't he? Yeah, yeah, back in the day, but um, he's, um, yeah, but he'll be getting well, well paid for it, so he, you know, he's got to get it going. I mean, he's got knockout power in December against Smith. Yeah. yeah. In the wild, the Arctic City has been boxing. I'd like to see him with Ryan Burnett. We're not going to set that fight now. I don't think Adam Bull will set that. I think, uh, I think he's smarter than that. Is this your last set, Josh? Yeah. Enjoyed that. There's something uh, quite refreshing, isn't there, about going to a uh, an amateur gym and seeing teenagers, 18, 17 year old lads boxing, and they've got all the hopes up, and they're all going to go pro, and they're training hard, and walking about with camera, it gives them a spring in the step, doesn't it? And you know, Mick Wales there, and he shouting instructions to the fighters and keeping them on the toes. I like that kind of thing, I think it's, it's a pleasure to be part of it. It's better than what we'll be doing now on a Monday night in Moreland's prison. I'll be waiting for uh, Bunce's boxing hour, won't I, or, some, or Archers or something, <laughs> something on radio. But. Uh, yeah, it's uh, somewhat refreshing about it, I'm afraid. So, but enjoyed there watching Josh. 15 rounds on, 15 three minute sessions on two different bags and shadow box. Shadow boxing and then two different bags. It's shadow boxing to warm up in it. And then, you know, finishing off with all them sit ups and had a bit of a chat. Drop the tickets off for July 5th, so let's hope that it goes all right. Uh, it looks like uh, Josh is not going to get a, an IBF minor belt because he's coming off a, at least one loss, although the other one were debatable, the European one, you'd have to say he won that one. but. Uh, which is strange, I think, governing, uh, sanctioning bodies, they have different rules, don't they? I mean, Terry Harper's fighting for IBO belt, and 
uh, their opponents coming off a loss, but so they've done well to Steffi and Ryan have done well to get a title shot there, considering the girls coming off a loss. So different organisations they have uh, different rules, don't they? But it's boxing, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? But what can you do? It's all good fun, isn't it? It's all good fun. It's all, it's all good stuff. Uh, long day for me today. Very long day. I'm really tired, to be honest. Quarter to seven on a Monday night. Stuck behind the bus in Maxborough. Story of my life. I can feel it calling me to me. I can feel the yayo calling me. I don't know whether to go out and, and instead of being porky tonight. Oh, I'm porky now, aren't I? I don't want to go out and be Russell tonight. Look at him going through a red bus there. Uh, I might go out and be Scarface tonight instead. Tony Montana, you cocker out. Now what I'm stopping in tonight, it's uh, a tin of soup and six Rivita crackers. So that's all my gastric van will allow. And that is it, and maybe a vanilla milkshake is my favourite. Shout out to Raymond in uh, Hartley Pool. How are you doing, Raymond? Come and see you this week if I can, if there's time. Keep watching videos. Keep on trucking. Hey, this is funny. I uh, somebody told me uh, in Sheffield earlier today, and he said they walked. I'm not going to say which gym it were. He, he, he said he walked in gym. He says, and I not. He said I noticed. He says it were you. I says where? He says you were on the screen. You know, I'm telling you they were watching and he says and I walked up and somebody said who's he gonna dig out today <laughs> I don't dig out anybody I'm just gonna tell the truth it's all you can do in it but I enjoyed it I really enjoyed it today going to Glynn's gym Glynn Rhodes's and seeing Sh Sam Sheedy and Tommy Frank and Glynn and and Josh and Dempsey and Mick and Sean they're all good people it's good to be around good people and if you've got good people around you that's good isn't it I think it's good uh, I think the boxing world the people I spoke to today are all like the guy who beat Jamie McDonald that, the monster guy his name's hard to pronounce but but yeah he uh, got some power in. Josh Whale would fight him now, wouldn't he? Josh would fight him. He'd school him, man, what are you on about? I signed him for Dennis, he'd school him. Plenty left in tank. 31 year old, don't drink, don't smoke, don't don't take don't snort don't snort beak. Never had a drink or a drug in his life or a fag. Not even had a Benson and Edges. Not like me when I was 31, I run 20 part of 20 part driver day man. First thing I used to do in the morning was light a park drive park drive up. Uh, uh, 14 plate Audi A4 there. 14 and a half grand. Jesus off the rockers. Right, Cunnings for train station. to go book a massage for myself. I fancy a massage. There's a sports massage woman down there where I used to live in Cunningsville called Lynn, I might go we'll see her. Uh, yeah, to give me a massage, because I'm a massage kind of guy. What do you reckon? Shout out Tommy Chadburn. Where's my money, Tommy? Hey. You know what I'm on about, Tommy. I'll catch up with you soon. I'll tickle your feet. But, uh, I wonder if Dave Allen's training hard for a big pricey fight. I wonder. Good fight, that, innit, for Dave? 
would fight. But uh, I'll tell you what, it was nice to see Josh training like that today. Six and a half week out from fighting, you're training like that. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. He'd be strong as an ox at featherweight as well. Strong as an ox. Strong as an ox, but... I was surprised to hear Josh Wales say that he thinks Galahad beats Warrington. It surprised me that because he's quite relentless, Josh Warrington. He reminds me of a Ricky Hatton type. So I was I were quite pleasantly surprised. Very surprised actually. But you know, it's uh, one of them things, isn't it? But it's just an opinion, isn't it? If you'd have asked Coogan that, he would have said, no, they don't think that he. Uh, Sorry, they would have said no, uh, they don't know, because they sit on fence, don't they? Where's that? I, uh, I think it's actually a 50-50 fight. I want Warrington to win, but I also know that Kid Galahad's very skillful. And he doesn't really commit his send, does he? He's very patient, isn't he? Uh, so, it remains to be seen who wins, but I personally want Warrington to win and I think he will win, I think he'll overwhelm him. If you can beat Frampton and Selby, who's Galahad? But, did, did Frampton and Selby go by the best before dates and were they on the slide and struggling at the weight? I don't know, but they had seen better days and they were coming off losses. Galahad's fresh, isn't he? He's not been beat, he don't know how to be beat. And um, is it a banana skin? Yeah. And I also don't think Josh's team wanted it because he's got an horrible style that Barry, hasn't he? So does Barry Awad beat Waddington? Ooh, I don't know now. My uh, my spider sense is tingling. Uh, do you like that one? Hashtag levels. <laughs> But, I hope it's a good fight, and it's probably fight at year, so far. It's a matchup at year, it's an hard one to split, isn't it? Very hard one to split, but whoever wins it, there's, they're going to go on to bigger things, aren't they? But I think if Kid Galahad wins, he's probably not going to have a rematch, because it's a... Uh, it's a, uh, well this is where I get things wrong, it's a mandatory fight, it's not a voluntary. I need to stop getting my mandatory decisions <laughs> that don't exist. My mandatory fights messed up with my unanimous decisions. Tyson Fury beat Vladimir Klitschko by unanimous decision, but it was a mandatory fight, so I'll be, I'll be corrected. Like I said, the other thing, it weren't 40 year old, they were 39 and 250 odd days, wasn't it? So, even I make mistakes. So, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Boom.